Hey all, Binks here. Movement Dex just got a brand new explosive card called Spider-Man 2099. The very first deck that we tried out was a tempo deck that I like to call Tempo 99. This deck utilizes the incredible Spider-Man 2099, a 4-6 that says the first time this moves to a location, destroy an enemy card there. So any kind of movement options you have, Spider-Man 2099 will jump there and destroy a random card. This only does trigger once, and no matter if you beast it or move it multiple times, this effect can only happen a single time during the game for each individual Spider-Man 2099 card. Uh, so this tempo version takes a mix of some of the core movement cards. Uh, so we have cards like Iron Fist, which can move a card to a left and be very cheap. A uh, Ghost Spider, which can move cards to the right or the left and can be played after that card. Uh, we have Cloak, which is an overstated card that allows both players to move cards. Uh, Vulture, which is a great movement card to get plus five power every single time that we move it. And Heimdall, a devastating finisher uh, that moves all of your cards one space over to the left uh, with some more kind of temple options in this Darkhawk package. Uh, so we have Korg and Zabu that's going to discount all of our four cost cards, uh, Rock Slide and Darkhawk. Uh, we also have Miles Morales, which is a really, really great tempo card. Anytime we get a movement, this is going to go down to a 1-5, which is super good to play any turn of the game to just kind of push forward. Uh, and then we also have the incredible Spider-Man 2099 that, you know, if we can target a specific card to destroy or just move it and destroy a random card to weaken a location and take advantage of its premium stats. Uh, the final piece of this puzzle is the wave. Uh, so I think that wave in move decks has been shown to just be a, a core component. Uh, you know, you can either just Heimdall afterwards, play a big card, but really it just shuts down those big decks. You know, wave, or movement decks have these really big turns where they're getting big cards in the, in the mid game. And then if you play wave on five to just kind of shut everything that your opponent can do down, just give them one card to play in that final turn, you're usually going to be able to finish things out. Uh, Tempo 99 did really, really well for me. It was a super fun deck to pilot. Uh, I was doing really bad at the beginning because learning how to, you know, utilize Iron Fist and Ghost Spider properly uh, to get my miles down in time uh, and then being able to set up for Heimdalls took a while. Uh, but after the, the beginning kind of, kind of hump, uh, the deck was performing really well and crushing a lot of different decks. And this is a super fun deck for ladder. And if you are lucky enough to get Spider-Man 2099, I hope you enjoy it. As always, if you're enjoying these videos, make sure to hit the like button, subscribe down below, and you can catch you either here on YouTube or at twitch.tv slash binks underscore plays. Enjoy. You peace. Yeah, this Vulture variant goes great. It's only a rare, too. There's only 700 gold. Thank you for the Sentinels. Always wanted some Sentinels. I appreciate you. It's very kind of my opponent. Give us free cards. For instance, chat, this is why Wave is good, right? So we're setting up here. We're gonna get the Spider-Man 2099. Let me check my deck, actually. Uh, I don't know if I can beat a Darkhawk middle. Let's not, let's, let's just let them kill my Korg if they wanna do that. So, what we're gonna do next is Cloak Right and Wave on the same turn. It's gonna then allow us to blow up one of their cards, move our Vulture, and set up for a Heimdall for the win. Yeah, it's a Darkhawk. I'm really glad I made that choice. I'm definitely gonna go here, too. Try and fight this, and then just wave right, I suppose. Ah, uh, maybe I can't. Ah, uh, we can we can Heimdall there later. Let's go here. Here. The problem is that if we like cloak in a different spot, then then it could lead to some problems. Well, we'll try this. Ooh, nice Sarah, by the way. This, this is what Wave is for, chat. Wave just crushes a deck that tries to do Sarah stuff, right? We just go here, here, here. Here, 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 I guess, right? Helps us win all three lanes profit. Helps us win all three lanes profit. Yeah, 
Yeah, so we should we should win right in middle here. We should win right in middle. Boom. Super cool game. Super, super cool game. Maybe should have snapped before we played the wave. I do hate that I'm going to have to shuffle rocks to play this vulture over here, but... It'll be worth it to, to fight for left. There's no way they can generate seven. Unless they play Drax and then we cry. Could've just played Ghost Spider and pulled it away. This is very potentially Drax. Oh, they just storm. Interesting choice. How much do they have to float for? Sunspot to be very scary for us. If we wave, they're always going to float two next turn. So if they float seven total, we'd have to get 13. Let's just throw that there and then wave right. I think they're going to full float. Not gonna full flow. They iron heart. We have to do this. He's a genius chat. He's a very large brain. Sometimes hurts to walk around. Nice game. Very nice game. This looks kind of stupid, but I think this is our best play. Iron Cloak as well. Give them a free hit on the Craven, but I don't I don't know if there's any avoiding it. Okay, you only get one total destroy on the uh, Spider-Man 2099. Correct. They will move for me, so if I top deck the Miles Morales, uh, we can play that. We'll get two two Spider-Man 2099s in play. Hopefully it lands right. Then our uh, Heimdall will be extra deadly. Fire 29 has been getting bad press so far. Shang-Chi is better option all around. I think so, yeah. I think that's probably correct. We're still going to try our darndest to make it work. Well, what if you played both, though? Imagine that. Imagine if you played both of them, Chet. Both of these. Very nice. Make our Heimdall extra deadly. We should play the Dark Hawk. I guess we play the Dark Hawk here. Then we can play double. Um... We could play like Rock Slide, Goke Spider, or something. Or we could just play the Heimdall. Yeah, this will probably be enough to win. They're probably going to do some fancy stuff. I might have to be left, right? What they Heimdall, they'll Heimdall middle. 
Hmm. They Heimdall, they Heimdall middle. Everything's moves middle. Then these two go left. Then the Heimdall will go left. Then the Heimdall will jump here. Problem is like, if we Heimdall, we only get one Spider-Man 299 trigger. Can't hit the Vulture, which would be big, but. Might not be able to get over this Craven though, no? We're adding nine. We go to 25. I don't think we can beat this Craven. I don't know. Let's just try it. They're gonna Heimdall middle. Twenty-nine might be enough. Stop, stop triggering, stop. Stop triggering, stop. <laughs> we take those? I forgot I could land right. I completely forgot I could land right. I'm really happy I played this Spider-Man over here. And I really wish, um... Maybe I should save this. Thank you. That, this is a crazy looking Moon Knight, by the way. What on earth, bro? Oh my gosh, chat. Everyone, everyone admire this. Wow. I don't think I've seen this variant, much less this inked that looks insane, dude. Wait, chat. Oh, this is so big brain. We're going to play Darkhawk on Machine World on turn five. I guess they could run Storm. Let's make a movement trigger, though. Make sure we have a movement trigger here. What are the odds they Storm middle? I think they're going to Modoc mid. Oh, we can't because they Modoc with it. We go first and then they play it. They actually get more on their Morbius. Modoc's definitely the play they want to make here. Maybe they don't have it. I don't know. I, this play is too cool. If this is Modoc, we feel sad. Oh, it feels so good. Thank you for the 20 power Darkhawk. I would love a second one. I appreciate you. So clutch, dude. So clutch. So clutch. <laughs> oh, baby. Oh, baby. Thank you for the Dark Hawk. I really wanted a 418. Play the rock? Does it matter? Or just as a joke? I guess I could play the rock left, right? I should have played the rock left for sure. Jeez. That's a nice old casserole. No idea why they played that out. I think they were maybe they were just bowing. Maybe they were just bowing their head. Ooh, Elysium game. He's definitely testing Spider Man 2099. Should play Cloak for stats? Give him a free vulture trigger, lol. Okay, we'll we'll hunt this vulture with our Spider-Man 2099. We can we can play uh 2099 and Ghost Spider on the same turn next turn and just hunt wherever this vulture is gonna be. Being stream sniping? I'm trying to, but he's not online. I was going to. I was gonna stream snipe and then just destroy him. And then go into a stream and say, like, sorry, uh, man, I would have lost if I hadn't stream sniped and looked at exactly what you played. 
Is that not cool? Am I not allowed to do that? I thought that was fine. Is that a bad? Is that a bad? Is that a bad chat? I'm confused. Loreheads understand. Lorehead Vinks Loreheads do understand. So true. At that fact. Playing Kingpin. We just have to kill this vulture. He shouldn't have an easy way to move it. I guess he could uh, play. Uh... I guess there's a few things he could do. We're just gonna try and kill the vulture. Come on, kill the vulture! Kill the vulture! Destroy Remus! Kill him! Get destroyed! <laughs> <laughs> you peace. Alright. Now let's get the hell out of dodge. GG's. Let's go. Let's go. Got him. Got him. I am the best 2099 player, Revis. Hold the Iron Fist. The target. We can play it on three. We'll play it on three. Okay, not a wave game because they're HE. Uh, this goes really hard though if they're trying to lockjaw. Often the lockjaw versions don't have the Cyclops. But uh, we'll throw some rock slides at them and then we can go Darkhawk Spider Man. <clears throat> bunka bunka. I wish you could see how many rocks you had in your game. What's up, human gamer? Hopefully, it was a lot. I, I, tr I tried to put a lot in your deck, so it, it's nice when, uh, when that works out and you do end up with a lot in your hand. Peace. Um, go here. Here? Maybe? This Iron Fist is a negative one power card. What we have to remember. Very nice. The Darkhawk landing here is great. Even with the Cyclops trigger, they're not going to have enough. With the Wasp and the Cyclops, I also don't think they'll have enough because they won't get any power. They'll hit it once and then the Cyclops will hit it once. I think we're actually in a great spot here. Um, especially if we do this, right? I don't know how they're going to win enough lanes. I love our, I love our spot here. Uh, no, uh, yeah, I love it. We're killing this thing. I love this. Love this. They might just say, oh, they can't beat my thing. Not true. We have Spider-Man 2099, you piece. Ooh, they're going to try and win, even with that. It doesn't have to be that big of a card, unfortunately. Wasp. Not enough! Not enough by one! Let's go, dude! Huge! By the way, Doom nerf difference. Doom nerf difference. I guess if they had they tied, we'd still win the tiebreaker. Huge, dude. Huge game. Damn, 2990s nerf. That was great, dude. Just being able to play that on turn six is a pretty nasty combo. You land nine power in one location and you you throw the spider-man there really good game dude really really good game top to bottom make sure to subscribe watch that one too <laughs>